What's up everyone, this is Squigs, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Maker Showcase. Today we have Australia Would Be Proud by Napkin Dictator. <laughs> it's got an interesting name, so this should be an interesting level, probably. As always, if you'd like to see your level played, please let me know the level ID down in the comments. Uh, we're going to be facing off against Ringman here. We got Boomerang as our main weapon. I'm starting to see how it comes in. And uh, item three, my favorite of the item numbers because of how <laughs> strange it is. I think that I'm, I'm starting to see the theme here. We got totem poles and boomerangs. Oh, it looks like we got a little bit of screen stutter. Maybe, or that could have been me, me catching up. You never know. This old computer's got some life left in it for Mega Man yet, but you never know what what share of it is between the two. It's actually a pretty nice computer. I'm using my downstairs computer for this, um, which is much better than the one upstairs that I use for most of my recording. Um, that's why it looks so crisp. <laughs> All right, we got some uh, some rabbits shooting um, shooting carrots, carrot rabbits. <laughs> Those Mega Man classic. No, we do have a little bit of screen stutter, which is hard to avoid in Mega Man Maker, unfortunately. Um, you're limited. Am I supposed to get? Oh, item three. That's right. There we go. We found ourselves a little secret. I like when people hide these, just like in um, Super Mario World. I think this adds so much to your hack or your level to put little secret areas that the player might, may or may not find. It makes a big difference for me, anyways. Oh, we got a lot of between screen lag now. I don't know what's going on there. Come on, jump high, buddy. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm getting so much stuttering. I don't understand why. But now the screen lag's gone. So, hmm, we'll just have to. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe it's a big level. Maybe. Maybe not. I've killed myself. Well, that's great. <laughs> I missed a pretty simple jump. There we go, that went much better this time. Gonna wait for our crazy cannon to take a break. Yep. Oh! Crazy cannons on conveyor belts. I've never actually seen that before. Not a fun enemy to have shooting at you, or to have to fight in triplicate. <laughs> Just because of how much life this guy's gonna have. Oh, keep it low. Yeah, I can't really hit him when he's doing that one, I don't think. There we go. I kind of like having infinite quick boomerang. It's a fun weapon to have infinite of. Okay, come on. Just, I'll tank a hit. Just, all right. I didn't want to tank two, but here we are. Oh, how did I screw that? Is that going to come back if I leave the level and come back? I think it does. Certain things don't reset, but most things do. Um, this is one of them that do. All right, we got a second place to go. See if we can just... Uh, uh, all right. Hey, hey E-Tank, that's what I'm talking about. And we don't have to fight a crazy cannon. It's a double bonus. Oh, God. He's going to try to flank me. Not today, buddy. Those are one of the only... You may see that I kill pretty much every enemy I come across. Those are one of the only ones that I'm not going to kill. Because they take so many hits. If I can avoid it... <laughs> um... Not that I really should be killing every enemy anyways, but it's just like a habit. But for those, I'm just like, nah. Oh, screen stutter there almost got me. Yeah, the it's very hard to not meet the lag limit in this game. This is tough right here. Oh. Oh, I frame save. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this game makes it very tough not to be at least the lower limits of the lag limit. This is not bad, um, but, like, it can get You see that little stutter when you switch screens, like when you shift between screens? That is what you try to try to avoid, but it's not always possible. Aw, oh, fuck, that's a secret that I missed. Eh. Well, such is life. You can't get them all. All right. Let's see if we can... I want to wait till he shoots one up there so I know I'm safe up here. I don't even know if that's true. I d this is, again, someone I don't have to kill that I literally can't even benefit from. Get off the screen, mouse. <laughs> but I feel the need to kill anyways. Oh, that's what I missed was an E-Tank. Well, hopefully we don't need two for the boss. Oh, God. Yeah, you get into there, and I'll just go right by you. There we go. Just 
stealth mission. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a phone call on. Oh, ah, bad time for a phone call. <laughs> All right, I'll just let that ring out because Mega Man is more important than your real life responsibilities. Oh God, I'm definitely gonna die. Okay, there we go. We should be able to get that on the next one. That was not that hard. Plus, we... I'm, I'm sorry that it's literally, like, playing in your ear. But, um, yeah. With the E-Tank, we really shouldn't have too much problem on this boss, I don't think. If we had a second one, it would be even less of a problem. Ringman is not one that I'm good at fighting, I'd say. As you can see that I've not dodged any of his attacks. I'm apparently bad. I think I gotta jump over once. No, that's not true. I guess I don't know how to fight Ringman at all. Um, <laughs> But, you know, we'll get there, folks. Yeah, it's... Okay, jump over once and then hug him so he can't get you on the way back and then move away. I, I get it now, but, um... Either way, that was a fun level. It was a little a little romp and stomp with some boomerangs, some cool little gimmicks in it. Um, and it had a nice little theme to hold it all together. So, yeah, thank you for um, sending Australia Would Be Proud in, Napkin Dictator. I believe I have some more from you to check out? Uh, I do, yes. Okay, so we'll be seeing more from Napkin Dictator in the future, so that'll be good. And yeah, if you want to see your level played, please let me know the level ID down in the comments. So thanks for joining me, friends, and I'll catch you all in the next one.